Oh, welcome back guys, welcome back. I'm um, just going to do a little update. KR was talking about a nice little 15 minute update. I can't do live, unfortunately. Live is not the greatest. We've had a conversation about this. However, I would love to just kind of talk about what's going on today or technically this week, right? So what happened? So we know we had a positive week yes, uh, last week, which was very good, okay, it's not that bad. Um, it opened up very well, um, and then we got rejected. Now, where we got rejected, um, you can see on the chart right now, I've got the total um, um, cryptocurrency, like the total market cap, basically, and here you can see the blue line. Remember that blue line, the 21 week moving average, right? The 21 moving average, a very important line um, to notice. Now, you can do it on the daily, you can do it on the three day, on the five day, it doesn't matter what time frame you put it on right the key here for the market to be positive or negative right now it's positive right it's testing the 21 is that we need the 21 moving average to be below us right so we want it to be uh we want to be above the 21 that's what we want to do right the very important key fact to understand so when we see it coming and testing the 21 or going close to 21 we know there's going to be massive movements up or down there could be a rejection so when we see these um, big time uh, moving averages we have to understand that yes when we go and test it we will get rejected absolutely fine right now after having almost four positive weeks if we end up seeing one negative candle absolutely nothing to worry about in my personal opinion of course there are other news other factors which are coming in as well for example um, KR shared a video the other day, um, which was, I think uh, there was somebody else basically, I think they were doing an analysis or something, but he shared a video with me regarding how whales um, are, like the top 1,000 whales are selling, they bought high and they're selling low. Yes and no, right? The, the, the thing is, these data, they're not 100% accurate, right? Unless you end up seeing how much they bought, right? So it's not, you know, what price they bought it out. A lot of people get too confused with or too worked up about it, right? Say, imagine somebody bought a thousand Bitcoin for $20,000 and they decide to sell 100 Bitcoin for $10,000, it's nothing wrong with that, right? So people just don't understand how these systems work. Of course, he picked up on one thing on that particular video. He said how these guys are the biggest manipulators out there. Absolutely correct. Yeah, they are the biggest manipulators, but you're also being manipulated because you didn't understand the whole greater picture. It doesn't matter how many, uh, sorry, it doesn't matter how many they're selling as long as it's not what they bought, right? Because that would be stupid. It kind of defeats the whole purpose, you know. So there are things that people pick up and it's good he questioned, like, you know, why? Great. Yes, good question. Why? But what you have to really ask yourself is what was the total amount, right? Did they buy a, a, a hundred thousand or sorry, so did they buy a, a thousand Bitcoin and sell a thousand Bitcoin? No, the answer is no, they didn't do that, right? So you've got to think with a clear head and uh, not panic too much about it. Um, there are good news coming in um which i'm looking forward to um regarding blackrock and everything and we i think we've had a discussion about this to me it doesn't make much of a difference more institutions come in means more manipulation full stop right there's no ifs and buts about that so expect a lot more um kind of a stormy situation in btc it's going to be more and more unpredictable as we progress especially with these uh new institutions probably coming in because remember institutions coming in and buying some paper Bitcoin doesn't really help Bitcoin. What we really want to see is physical Bitcoin being bought on exchanges. That's what's going to increase um, everything for us. That's what's going to push the market up to the highs that we want. Paper Bitcoin doesn't make any sense unless they're buying paper Bitcoin and backing it up with the real thing. Then it's a good thing. So I mean, I'm just going to leave it on that. I'm, I don't think I want to go any further, um, but that's what it is. Look, market is okay. I don't see any problem with this. These dips are just buying opportunities. So I'm just going to say, you know, if you're not doing dollar cost average, you should start right now because these are opportunities that you don't want to really miss. Um, of course, could the market go down a little bit because of uh, fear? Yes, it could, you know, absolutely. And also, if you look at the current um, RSI, which is just on the bottom here, let me just try and see if I can bring it up. Um, we've got the RSI somewhere here. Let me see if I can bring it up. Um, sorry, my thing is so small, you can barely see it. Come on, 
bring it up. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying my best. Um, but yeah, the damn thing. Oh, there it is. Right. So I just wanted to show you the RSI is up, and we talked about it as well um, on the Bitcoin, and we said, look, the momentum is is up, and it's it is coming up to the overbought territory. Um, but it's fine, okay. If you look carefully, it's absolutely fine. Um, and this week, if it does come down a little bit, it's okay. It's just going to take a breather, and then it's going to push again. So we should see this correction being completed, and then it should move up again. Um, also, if you start looking at this particular area here, uh, this um, yellow area here, this yellow line, basically the RSI. Yes, it is pointing down a little bit, showing that the market wants to come down, which means this blue line will take a dip a little bit. But then again, it could easily bounce back up again and move up. So I am going to be optimistic, as I said before as well, yesterday's video as well. And I feel that the market has great opportunities for us. And this could be it, right? You know, nothing great here. We haven't invalidated that yellow, um, this yellow area here. So this area here, we haven't invalidated that yet. Um, I would love to see the yellow line coming up and testing this area here, invalidating this. This would confirm. But again, when it does confirm, it's going to be too late. So don't hold back. Don't do none of that business. I mean, just going to say DCA because this is the great opportunities that you don't want to really miss. Also, an opportunity is coming in for altcoins as well. So I'm going to wait for this major um, test of the 21 and possibly even the 50 and the 100. Um, and whatever comes first, basically. So as, as soon as I see one of these lines flip, below us right on a higher time frame um i think it's going to be time to jump into the alts as well and then we move forward from there so other than that guys like share subscribe and i'll catch you on another one very soon i hope this was informative enough um other than the mess that i've made here right now but um yeah i hope this all helps you to understand that look there's a greater picture here and the picture is we're just coming to test that 21 moving average we want to be above that as soon as we're above this you know this market's going to explode so um yeah on that note adios my amigos